Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD and another Windows 10 video. This time I'm going to show you guys how to disable the Action Center. Uh, so you're basically saying what's the Action Center. So the Action Center is actually this, which is the notification section right here. Uh, but I'm going to show you in three ways. Uh, one way is a super easy, friendly way to do it as a user. Uh, the second way is a group policy for those IT admins that want to disable it on your infrastructure. And the third way for those uh, individuals that like to create registry hacks, that's the third way. So the first way is really easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Start Menu. We're going to go to Settings. And within Settings, you want to go into the Notification and Actions part. So let's go into the Notification and Actions right here, Display. We want to go into the Notification and Actions. So once you get here, you're going to see an option that says Turn System Icons on and off. We're going to click on that. And one of the options is Action Center. So let's click on that and turn it off. And that's it. That's how you turn it off within a user friendly uh, way. If we go back inside our taskbar, it's not there anymore, right? So let's turn it back on and it's back on. Cool. Now, the second way is a group policy for those individuals that want to push this out as a group policy within your infrastructure. I'm going to do a window R to bring up the run dialog box and I'm going to type in gpedit.mcs and hit OK. Once your local policy group editor pops up, again, you could do this within your domain controller. Uh, you want to go into the user configuration node. Within the user configuration node, you want to go into administrative template. Let's expand that. And then from there, you want to go into the start menu and taskbar node. And then let's open this up a little bit. Now, the option that we want is called remove notifications and action center. So let's locate it. Remove notifications and action center. So let's double click on it. And by default, it's not configured. So what you want to do is enable it. And we're going to apply it. And then once you're done that, you're going to restart your machine and it's going to disappear. Now, if you're pushing this out as a group policy, most like when your users log in in the morning, they're going to get the group policy hit to their machine and they won't get the notification center anymore. So I'm going to hit not configured and I'm going to apply that and I'm OK that. Now, the last way is a registry hack. If you guys love to mess around with the registry hive, this is the way that you do it. So I'm, again, I'm going to do a Windows R and I'm going to do reg edit. I'm going to hit yes on the user account control. I'm going to expand this. And the section that you guys want to go is inside the H key current user. Again, this notification uh, hack or trick is done within the user profile. So we're going to click on that. We want to go inside software, expand that. We want to go inside policies, uh, expand Microsoft, expand Windows. We want to go inside Windows. Now, within Windows, we need to create a key. So what we're going to do is right click on it and we're going to go to new and a key. And then what we're going to do is call it Explorer, hit enter. Now within Explorer, we want to create a DWORD32. We're going to right click, new, DWORD32 value. And what we want to do is call it Disable uh, Notification and Center, enter. Okay. Awesome. And we're going to double click on it and we're going to give it a one and press OK. And then you're going to restart your machine if you're doing it locally or if you're pushing this out into like a policy. Most likely the, the next time that you use the logs into the machine, they're going to get this registry hack. Uh, other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video on three ways how to disable the Action Center within Windows 10. One is a user friendly way to do it at home. Two is a group policy if you're pushing it out onto a IT level. Uh, three, if you like to mess around with the registry hive, you could do it this way. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.